Today I'm going to create a custom idle animation for my non-playing character. And let me go to plugins right here and build rig. I'm going to use R15 and then man rig. And I plop them in the ground there. Let's go back to home and move them out of the ground. Alrighty. Hit the play button. And I'm going to get my animate stuff from my player. I'm just going to leverage off of that. All right, so we have a lot of stuff in our player already. Let's go to workspace. Go to your player in the workspace, your character in the workspace. And look for animate. Right click, copy. So copy all that. Stop the game, paste it into your dummy. There you go, paste into. Now this is a local script. We need to change this to a server script. So I'm gonna to go to dummy. I'm gonna create a script. And I'm not gonna name it yet because I don't wanna get confused between the two. This is mine that, I'm, that I want at the end. This is the one I pasted in. So open up animate. Let me pull this down a little bit. And copy everything under animate. Right. Oops, I went too far. Did I open it? Yeah, there we go. Uh, all the way down to play emote. Then I'm going to drag this in. Boom. All righty. Now, everything in this script, we need to get into that script. Right. So over here, I'm going to hit Control A to select all, Control C to copy, get my script, get rid of the print statement. Control V to paste. I'm going to do a, now I have to get rid of my chat, chat hook. Control F and then type chat. My chat was already there. So it's going to give you this um, setup emote chat hook. Let's get rid of that. You might have to go a couple times through. There's two matches, right? Oh, they're both there. So you'll be good. Get rid of that because NPCs aren't going to be using your chat box. Ah, looking good. Let's go ahead and rename this now. Animate. And I'm going to get rid of that local script. I don't need it anymore. Delete it. Now, under your animate, your freshly created server script for animate, you drug in this idle along with a bunch of other stuff. And there's two animations here. Let's look for that in this animate script. Let's look for our idle. Right? Idle. Oh, it's 13 matches. So go to the top if you have, if you're having trouble. It's going to be the first one. It's going to be one out of 13. This is where you set up your idle animations in your animate script. And there's three here. You'll notice there's two here. It's okay if you have extras on this side. It's okay if you have extras on this side. But some of these have to match, right? Or you're going to get an error. This one here is my head turn. I don't know what happened to this one. It's not in here. That's the one that's missing. I'm going to get rid of two out of the three. And I'm going to get rid of that comma too, because the comma is just separating the different animations. If you only have one, don't use a comma. This weight right here, it's a probability function. When you have multiple animations, it's going to uh, calculate out the total weight and then the percentage of each animation is going to fire as a probability function. All right, this weight right here is actually overridden by this weight. So you don't have to change both. Which one's this? If we go here, this is our 388. We got rid of that. Let's delete it. And this is the one that's remaining, the 666 all the way at the end. That's this one right here. That's our breathing. Let's take a look at it. Let's go down to our dummy now. And because this was a rig that I made from the rig builder, this uh, anchored is going to be on and that's going to mess us up. Remember, turn anchored off. That gets me so many times. All right, let's look at our one thing I might have forgotten. This weight, let's make it 10 because Roblox seems to like 10. If you only have if you only have one uh, one animation per um, per thing, per anim, any anim name. All right, let's go in here. Yeah, he should be looking around. There he is. Let's change that. Let's change that to ours. All right, let's stop this. Let's go to our plugins, animation editor. Click on our guy. 
and I'm going to do my idle. And now we are in the animation editor. This right here, these three dots, let's set our animation priority to idle. There we go. Um, right here, this timeline, this is in, let me see, seconds, semicolon frames, so seconds to frames. You can set it to frames. And we also have frame rate as 30 FPS set, so you can change these. All right, so that's frames per second. So this all the way to 30 is one second. Let's see, I'll put it back. I'll put it back to the default. All right, so this is the timeline that we're gonna be working with. Let's go ahead and get a keyframe. And you can get a keyframe by like moving something. Even if you move it back, it sets this keyframe. That's the body position. So you have our upper left arm, it recorded that position, right? And let's go to, I don't know, uh, zero, 0.9, 0, semicolon 0, 0.9. Let's go ahead and move his arms up. Move this one. And then we'll have him like kind of move his head back. And then let's go to 18. And we'll have him reset. I'll have them come back. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I'm going to control Z. Went to blue. That might be a little further than what it normally is. And maybe at 27. I'll give him a little funny leg twitch. And then that at the one, at the one semicolon zero zero or colon zero zero moving back. So we got, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna loop it. That's a loop. There's a funny little animation. All right, that's gonna be my idle. Not very interesting, but that's okay. You can play around with this. This is hard to do this on a video. You mess up a lot. Let's go ahead and turn that off. I'm gonna save it. And then I'm going to export it. My idle, that's good. Save it. This is the number you're going to need. If you click on it, it's kind of hard to get that number. Just copy it here. Copy it here in your web, in your web browser. Control C. Shrink that down. Close this window. Let's go back to our animate script right here. And paste that number right in your, your number right there. Then go to your idle, paste your number right here, control V, under animation ID, and we'll try it. Let's see what we got. Ah, there he is. He's got this funny little animation. There's a little leg kick. So you can play around with that, take some time, make some cool anima animation, and let me know if you have any questions.